Adam and Jane's Chocolate Factory. Mm. Doesn't sound quite right, we need a better name for it. If you can think of a name, drop us one in the comments. We might even send you a chocolate bar as a treat. waiting for the lights to turn green for me and then I can go I better go and not talk or else I'm gonna get run over uh, so good morning everybody it's Friday today and I'm taking a walk to the shops we're in lockdown here in the UK here in England but you are allowed out for essential purchases which is what I'm going to do and also exercise which is what I'm also doing so I'm combining the two so it's all okay uh, it's just been raining and raining all night very windy today and I'm just trying to get out now before the rain comes back I'm taking a walk to the shops it's just over a mile there and a mile back again so it's a good exercise for me about 45 minutes of walking and I used to do this quite a lot I used to leave the car at home well I used to do this quite a lot even when I didn't have a car. Look at all this sweets. People just someone's picking mixes gone a bit funny. Oh dear, look at this. Someone's picking mixes hit the floor. And the birds don't like it. Even the birds know sugar's not good for you. Got a house for sale here. We're gonna be selling our house in the next few weeks. Just waiting for the right time, really. It hopefully will sell quickly, but as I said in a previous video, we don't know when we're going to be moving just yet. It's hopefully going to be somewhere in March, April. So I think if we get it on the market now, with a bit of luck, we'll get a buyer, a quick sell, and we'll be off. Now, there's currently a restriction traveling to the Philippines from the UK for certain people. And I'm one of them, being a foreigner. However, we do have a way of going to the Philippines. And we haven't booked anything just yet. We're just waiting a little bit longer. We need to get the house sold, obviously. And then we can go. Uh, it's quite a nice day, actually. Not so cold today. Bit of a nice day. It's raining. What am I saying? Sometimes it's nice just to go out for a walk. It's good for the exercise, obviously. Nice to get some fresh air. But uh, do you find that when you drive everywhere, sometimes you don't feel like you can ever just switch off, just think. You're constantly here and there, everywhere in between. You don't get a chance to just stop and think. When you walk, you get a chance to clear your mind, to really think about things. Now Jane's at home, she's still recovering. Her recovery might be as long as four to six weeks. Isabella's at home at school at the moment. She's also going to be looking after Jane while I pop out. I won't be too long though. Thank you for all your comments and your well wishes. Jane's recovering quite well. It's going to be a long process, but we're going to help her. She'll be back soon. This, uh, again, this is where I grew up. This is Hengrove Park. We call it the airport as kids. We were always over here playing around in the trees, in the bushes, playing football, got hitting golf balls around, all sorts really. It just seems a shame that it's going to be built on. What's even more of a shame is that even before lockdown, it just seems that kids these days just do not come out and play over here. They're constantly locked inside on their gadgets, on their phones, on their consoles. That's one of the things I'm looking forward to about moving to the Philippines, where kids are kids. They play outside with each other. They gain interaction with each other. They gain social skills. You can say that's lacking these days. Kids don't know how to talk to each other or to adults. Over here there used to be lots and lots of football pitches. And now look, just lots and lots of birds. And in a few years, there'll be lots and lots of houses. It's really going to be a sad day, but we're not going to be here. We're going to be in the Philippines. 
I do feel sad that the kids today, they don't get to play, they don't get to grow up the way that we used to grow up in the 80s and 90s. Seems like kids have more pressure and more stress today than we did. They seem like mini adults long before they should be. Worried about how they look, worried about their clothes, worried about, you know, popularity and stuff. We weren't like that as kids, not to this extent anyway. Now I'm taking a little bit of a detour now, just uh, going to show you something. The history of this place, we're at Church Airport, 1930. So 1957, this used to be a fully functioning airport and here's where we are. You can see on the map just how much green space there is. Unfortunately this is all going to go. This here will all be housing. Birds flying over. Incredible. Lots of seagulls. Probably wonder where all the humans are at the moment. All the food that gets dropped on the floor. Well, we saw those sweets earlier, but up there is a McDonald's and a KFC, and there's always rubbish and litter, unfortunately. Birds just love it. At the top of Richard Sport Centre, it's now called Action Indoor Sport. I used to work there for a few years when it was Richard Sport Centre. Old aircraft hangar, very big place, very old place. And yeah, it's haunted. Several of us have seen a ghost there. An old pilot who crashed on the runway. Crashed out here on the runway. Anyway, I'm off to the shops now. Going to pick up a few essential items. I'm going to make champarado for Jane as a treat. Jane and I share the cooking at home, but I've never made any Filipino food. Now, with Jane out of action, so to speak. Oh, watch out for the puddle. Mm. That's a big puddle. I need to step up to the plate and try and make some Filipino food for her. We have some cacao at home. As you might know, we're growing cacao in the Philippines at the moment. We've just had our first harvest. I want to share with you now. We're going to use cacao in the Philippines for cooking and baking, but also we're going to use it for business. This is our plot of land in the Philippines. It's approximately 400 square meters and we've had it for a few years now. We've put up a few videos before. As you can see, we've had a wall constructed and a gate. The cacao's been growing since 2016, and this is the first harvest of it. It's been maintained by Jane's family. And in the middle, we're planting extra vegetables and fruits. There's Jane's brother-in-law, he's picking the cacao and here it's been formed and it's been ready to be made into different things including for use in Champarado which is something that I'm going to make for Jane as well. We really can't wait to be in the Philippines, we really can't wait to be harvesting our cacao. We're looking to sell the cacao maybe even try to create some chocolate bars. Adam and Jane's Chocolate Factory. Mm. Doesn't sound quite right, we need a better name for it. If you can think of a name, drop us one in the comments. We might even send you a chocolate bar as a treat. Better cross the road while I can. It's funny because the last time I was out of work, the only other time in my life I've been out of work, I used to take a walk to these very shops some 26, 27 years ago. Amazing. Such a long time has passed and yet it doesn't seem that long. It seems like yesterday. Do you find that life goes really quickly when you don't want it to and really slowly when you want it to? We used to come over here sometimes. It used to be called the Cartwheel. It's now called the Witch Church and it looks very nice. But like most establishments these days, they're shut. We're in lockdown. We don't know when we're coming out of lockdown. I hope the figures and the numbers go down. But we don't know. 
people need to obey the lockdown so we can get out of this get back to some sort of normal as soon as possible these shops here they're shut now but even before the lockdown even before the coronavirus a lot of them went out of business we used to be a charity shop on the end that used to be before a grooming center used to be halifax i'm gonna go in the shops now i better turn this off and i'll catch up with you afterwards okay so i finished in the shops i've got some stuff here for jane and i'm on my way back home i've still got my mask on I'm gonna make sure I get completely out of this area before I take it off, just in case, never know. So we got cacao grown in the Philippines. It's been harvest and it's really quite big now. We're gonna to have to do some of it when we get there. So I grew up in this street, this old man, this house in the corner lived in by an old man, a bit of a hermit. Unfortunately, look at his roof, it's falling down and it's coming away. Poor guy, the house has never been maintained. It's still got the original windows. These were built in the 1970s. It's got so many members of this area. He's taking a bit of a chance with the wind at the moment. Rather him than me, I don't like heights whatsoever. But number nine, our member, my friend, Nicola and Sue. Eight, we have Paul, Kevin and Lisa. Seven, Sherilyn and her brother, I can't remember his name actually. Six, that was Ian and James. And number five, where I used to live. And this here, this crossing, this has replaced the body pop lady. So that was my old house there. That was my old bedroom up there on the corner on the end. And over here we had an old people's home. That was the old, that was like the caretaker's little lodge. And this used to be an old people's home and it's gone. Guess what? More housing, more houses. Enjoyed this walk. It's given me a bit of exercise, some fresh air. Give me a chance to talk to you on the camera. And it's a change of scenery. I like walking. I really do. My car's gonna go soon. So, you're gonna have to be walking. Well, that's good. <laughs>